In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the circumference of a circle using a user input value for the radius in C. So the first thing we'll do is create a variable to store the circle radius. Circles can have radiuses with decimal points, like 4.5. So we'll use the type double. We'll have double radius. Next, we'll prompt the user to enter the circle radius. So we'll have printf and then enter radius colon. So here we're calling the function printf and we're passing it the string enter radius and printf is going to output that string to the terminal. The next thing we'll do is use scanf to store the radius entered by the user into the variable radius. So we'll have scanf and then a string with percent %lf inside the string and then and radius. So this string with percent %lf is telling scanf to expect the user to enter a double value. Scanf is going to store that value into the variable radius. And radius is actually passing a memory address. It's passing the memory address of the variable radius. Scanf is going to use that memory address to store the entered radius into that variable. We call that using a pointer. Next, we'll use the entered radius value to calculate the circumference of the circle We'll declare another double variable called circumference. We'll have double and then circumference. And then down here, we'll calculate the circumference. We'll have circumference is equal to two times pi times radius. So two times pi times radius is the formula for the circumference of a circle. And here, we're using the star operator to multiply two pi and the entered radius to calculate the circumference. Here, we're using the assignment operator to assign the result of these multiplications to the variable circumference. We could then output circumference. So we could have here printf and then circumference colon. We'll have percent %f to output a double value, and then backslash n to output a new line. Then we'll have here circumference to output circumference. We could then save compile and run the program. We'll enter in, let's say five for the radius. So we'll have five. We get a circumference of 31.415927, which is correct. Now there's a couple things we could do differently. One thing, maybe we don't need all these decimal places. Maybe we only need two decimal places of accuracy. We could have here in printf dot two after the percent. And this will then output the circumference with two decimal places of accuracy. If we save compile and run the program and enter in five for the radius, we now get a circumference of 31.42 and we have two decimal places of accuracy. Here we've put the value of pi right into the expression itself. But pi is something that we may wanna use in multiple places all over our program. One thing we could do is define a preprocessor constant for pi. So for example, up here, we could have number define pi and then pi. This will define a preprocessor constant we can then use pi and it's going to be replaced with this number here. So down here, we could have pi instead. If we save compile and run the program and enter in five for the radius, we're going to get 31.42 again. So the program still works. But now if we need to use pi in other places, we can just use the pi preprocessor constant we could also create a function to calculate the circumference. So for example, we could declare the function as double calculate circumference and the function could accept the radius as an argument. So the function is called calculate circumference. The function is going to return a double, the circumference, and the function is going to accept a double value as an argument the circle radius. We'll copy this and we'll supply a definition of the function down here. 
and all the function is going to do is calculate and return the circumference. So here we'll have return two times pi times radius. Then we'll call this function. So here we'll call calculate circumference and we'll pass it the radius. So here we're calling the calculate circumference function and we're passing it the entered radius. That function is going to use that entered radius to calculate the circle circumference. It's going to return that value and we'll assign it to circumference. We could then save, compile, and run this program. And if we enter in a radius of five, we'll again get 31.42. So the advantage of using a function is that we could reuse this function in different places in our program to calculate the circle circumference without having to reproduce this formula again and again. So this is how we can calculate the circumference of a circle with a user input value for the radius in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.